So, have any of you done this before? No. Uh, I've wanna... actually driven on this track. You've driven, okay. Yeah. What about you? No, I haven't. Perfect, all right, that makes it even better. So I want it like the full, fast and furious experience. Well, we're gonna go about 100. That's fine. So. Just a typical day on the Stevenson Expressway. That's right. The last time I drove on this track, I did 173. Really? Did you do the driving experience? Yes. Yeah. You're not even going fast yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is great. What? Congratulations on your Iowa win. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Now, what makes this track different than Iowa? There, there's still a mile and a half, or is Iowa bigger? Iowa's actually right, at, right under a mile. All right. So, and then this one has a curve all the way around. So this makes this track unique because it's curved. It does, yeah. The back straightaways are normally straight here. They're normally straight. That's why they're called a straightaway. And this this racetrack is uh, is curved all the way around. So I think I'm making you nervous back there, aren't I? Oh no, you're cool. All right. Okay, great. I great. love it. You know you're on camera. They can see you. Yeah. Freaking out in the back. Try to get me freaking out without my double chin, would ya? So what's <laughs> so what's the better path around this track, the bottom or the top? Depends on the time of day and the circumstances. So for us, typically um, when there's no like when you're in practice and you're in, in no traffic, um, burning the bottom is the fastest because it's the shortest distance. Whereas um, in the race, whenever the track gets hotter and slicker and you get worn out, you're gonna travel up farther and closer to the wall and, and you know it's just it's more momentum up there you have to slow down less you don't have to turn the steering wheel as far and so um, that's that's the easier line as your tires get worn out so for us you, know, you start down here you start on the bottom you start out with the, the fast lane the shortest distance and then as you run you get higher and higher and awesome so then with this weekend it's supposed to be super hot and humid are those ideal track conditions for you? Um, they're not ideal track conditions for your body, but they are ideal track conditions for a place like this where it is a little bit worn out, the surface is a little bit older, and it allows you to really move around. So I'm gonna go to the top right here, we're gonna run the outside wall. Sweet. Nice. So um, this will be the race line, probably that will be the preferred line in the race, uh, but not for practice and qualifying, but in the race we'll come out here, we'll enter in kind of up here by the top, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be above this top seat. And you're gonna go back to the gas really early. <laughs> this is fantastic. Now, you're very calm and collected right now. In a race, are you a little tense up? Um, there, there's certain bumps that will tense you up more than others. There's a bump getting into turn one that will tense you up a little bit. But for the most part, you, you try and stay really calm like I am right now just because that's the easiest way to kind of not, you know, it just, everything seems to work out a little bit better whenever you're calm. Sweet. And then they keep saying there's a bump right here over the tunnel. I have not felt that yet. Is that because I'll of the show suspension? You. We'll, we'll go back to the bottom. But yeah, and being in a passenger car, it helps a lot because the suspension is good. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not too bad. Sorry about my knee and your back, man. Oh, you're all good. I love it. I love it. So okay, so this bump away. right here, there's actually a small tunnel right here. You'll feel this bump. Yeah. That one's just a little bit. You'll also feel these seams a little bit. You can kind of feel them moving around a little bit on the seams. That is, you'll feel this one right here. You can kind of oh, feel it yeah. bounce around. So in the car, we feel that a lot. Um, you know, just because the suspension is way more rigid and the tires are, are um, you know, you're, you're using a lot more grip. So, um, okay, right here, we're gonna come across here. You'll see the bump a little bit. You'll see this little dark mark right here. Uh. That's the right there. It's not a, it's not a whole lot, but from a driving standpoint, it's a big deal. You really feel that bump while you're out there on the racetrack. So, what's the physicality for you guys? Because it's gonna be hot this weekend. You're in the fire suit, plus you're wearing a helmet. And I don't know. Do you wear the what is that? The Nomex covering? I, I don't wear that one. Um, I, I run a little bit different style, but it's gonna be about 130 to 140 degrees inside the car this weekend. So that's the hardest part, right? It's just kind of managing the weather, managing the temperature, um, managing the hydration, you know, making sure that you're hydrated enough. It's 300 miles, so, you know, you gotta make sure that you're hydrated well enough. Um, the other part, though, is here, the wind. You know, the wind blows kind of in different directions, so yeah. kind of managing that. All right, I'm gonna freak you out a little bit right here, but we're gonna come to pit road hard like you would for a pit stop, so. Yes. So, we're gonna come around here. So you would enter the corner in, you're coming to come down here to the bottom lane. Oh, and we're gonna come all the way to this marker right here. Trying to smile, on trying the brakes. To smile. So we are just now to pit road speed. And so we're gonna come down and we'll pull 
going to a pit box here. And it's 45 on pit roads. You're going. And then you go the right side, the left side, and go. Yeah, that was a quick pit stop, by the way. <laughs> We're just doing a gas and go, kids. Yeah, gas and go. <laughs> I loved it. Well, hopefully that was a good experience. I enjoyed it. That was great. <laughs> up your audio fellas <laughs> I think you did just fine I think it's gonna be hilarious I think that's gonna make